And we're back with another episode of Redux with your host, Inky AK Cheatdoor. As we finally did another one of the history lessons to find out about the ogre and the whole thing about the mask, which then apparently leads to us coming over here to the mask festival. So now we're just doing this. So let's continue. Yeah. We've given fruits and berries, beautiful candy coatings. Cobra. I barely ever do this because I don't mess with my guys. I had that much. Oh yeah, this weird design to eat something. Did they faint? What was that all about? Try the festival. Oh. Excuse me, two candy apples. Candy apples, please. <laughs> you got it. Two candy apples coming right up. Uh, here, Ren. You can have one. Thanks. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. Love candy apples. You don't get eat them every day, you know? Yeah, because that's how you die. <laughs> it's like every day I've been eating candy. Grandma, Grandma always just makes us mochi as a snack. There's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know? Yeah, it's... Yeah. Frapple or whatever. Did you know that? Hey. Let's check that out over there. Boom, ba -doom, boom, ba -doom, boom, ba -doom. Where you go? Where you go? You go somewhere? He's like, oh, there's something over here, and then I can't find anywhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, is that him? Nope, that is some random person. Shh. Just gonna take what's next to you, and why are you shushing me? Shh. Can you keep a secret? There's a selfie you pose for, for when you want to be like secretive. Everyone's doing it lately. Then shh. Emo. Okay, cool. I never take the pictures. It's cool. It's cool feature to have. And... It's an old bat. I want that. Oh yeah. Where'd the kid go? You would think it would be easy to find because he has like the most distinct. Oh, there he is. Cool. Hey, man. I hate that I crouched a lot more than I should. Step right up for a game. <clears throat> That's not. Step right up for a game of Ogre Austin. So, y'all want to have a go? Yes. Hey, you're one of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? Can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Oh, you, you, you're going to try it, Rin? Uh, I'll, I'll cheer you from a safe distance. 
You know, for a run of Ogre House, you know? Where did you come from? I did one just now. It's pretty easy for me. That's it. Score was 6,390. Think you can do better? Go get her, Ring. I don't know what I'm doing, so this should be fun. Okay, <laughs> now it loaded. Oh, this is a game that has been played. Uh, gather up lots of bears and bring them to the berry table to earn yourself a high score. The playing field is dotted with ogres, balloons, and four diff uh, different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside. There are four, also four different colors of berry tables at the home base. Place one of your berries on the matching table by getting close to it, and then pressing A. As you manage to place the number of berries on these tables, you win. For time to time, greedy Pokemon may gather around the berry. They were hoping to gobble up all your harder. If you let them, they'll eat until all the berries are gone. Oof. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. This should be fun. Get away. Get away. Stop it! Stop it! Hey, stop it! Oh, I messed up. Wow. Wow. That was oddly different. I couldn't even get... She got up to 6,900 and I couldn't even get up to 35. Some fine dashing about. Let's see. You score 74. So here's your prize. Cool. I, Harry, the reigning champion of ogre balloon busting, have triumphed. Really want to have another go to deliver a crushing final defeat with a, a killer score, but I don't have enough. I don't have much pocket money left. Kiki, you can go serve Rena a sound defeat for me. No. no. <laughs> What's that? You're taking the side of our over your own sister? This makes me so annoyed. I think we're going to black out. Ah, sorry, she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime?
Hey, buddy. What's up? A serious child is staring at you from behind their, their mask. Are you enjoying the festival? That is not a... That is definitely not a, a child. Yeah. Ren, listen... Hey, Ren, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for ousting ogres, I'm telling you. Hey. Who was that? Yeah, no, you just scared away a Pokemon. Chase after the mysterious kid. <laughs> two inches. I right, just moved two inches. Now nah, more than like eight steps. Run off on, on your own. Hey, new kid. That goes for you too. Oh, wow. Even in, um, I never saw it with his mask off. But it actually really does look good. She's come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. <gasps> no, that's his mask. Oh, yeah, that's the ogre. From the story. I'm kidding. I don't know if it is. A just a reincarnation through a Pokemon. You found the teal mask. End of game. <laughs> it's like you got it. A teal mask pattern after the face of an ogre. Ergamon Pong dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the festival of masks. Who was that? Where's that that kid came come from? You you gotta know that was a Pokemon. You gotta know it was a Pokemon. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean that kid we just saw that they ran off toward the mountain? Could that have been the ogre from the story of all from the story of all the sign reports? You're saying that story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so there really must must be. Rin, sis, what are you guys doing over here? Oh, we just bumped into the ogre. Hey, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. What are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing, it's nothing. You'll be interested in at all. I swear. Lies. Huh? Oh, I get it. I bet you're making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna go back, head back to the festival. It's like... I'm going to leave. I'm say, Phew. At least he didn't figure out hey, what we were talking about. Don't scare me like that. Babbling for the whole world to hear. Do you have any filter? See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if we found out that we've seen the ogre without, without him, because it was... I guess I was afraid he'll feel bad, you know. Felt left out or something. Am I overthinking it? So I didn't want him running out to up to the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and, and that's that. You lied about it. Let's keep this whole thing our se little secret, okay? And maybe hold off on showing Kiki the, that mask we just picked up, too. That's like very cute Pokemon. On the face, at least. I was like, oh, precious. <laughs> Talk to Kieran before heading back. It's like, instantly tells him everything. <laughs> Oh, 
When I really want that, when I really want to have a candy apple, I do this pose for Papa. And the police, you know. Okay, cool. Weaponized cuteness, greatness. It all goes away. Okay. And then after the festival? Wait, I can... Hmm, let me see. I want to try to see if I can do that little thing one more time. Because, again, I was trying to learn all the stuff. Oh, now you just... Ride a Pokemon. Okay. To be honest, I probably should just get all the things and then go there. Because if they have no berries to eat... Hmm. I wonder if the, I wonder if the game allows it. We could just... Oh, this is a lot harder than before. Oh my god, where are they coming from? Stop it! No! I was so close! Ugh, I only got to do three. No! I should be able to win it. I, I, my plan was foolproof. Until it wasn't full. And as I said, all I needed was that many berries, but apparently they lied. Because I'm thinking all you have to do is go get all the berries and then just drop them off at the place and you're Gucci. But for some odd reason, I didn't have all the berries I needed.
I got stuck there for a while. What? I gotta deal with this. Stay the hell back. Back up. Back up. Ugh. Get away. Oh, <laughs> got to rush it at the end, like. Okay, next stage. Wow, you just keep going until it's... Ugh. Oh, you can actually get a head start.
In your face. Oh. Oh, God. In your face. Oof. You work it. Nice. Oh. So this is how you get Moshi. <laughs> I can quit for now. Ha! Ah, interest. 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 Because I was getting all the feathers and stuff. Congratulations on getting through all the easy stages. Take this to go. Commemorate your first time clearing that difficulty level. Ooh, three nuggets. It's pretty good, actually. Air balloon. It's also pretty good. Come back anytime, you hear? Go. Was not expecting that. Now we have Moshi's. Wonder, I still think it won't do anything. Yep, okay. But, this will. Yep. Oh. Oh, okay, so my special. Okay, so I went too high already on this. Sweet. Okay. Okay, that's out 245, 255, 26. Well, my height, yeah, zero is not doing well. Hmm. I kind of want to do more of those just to get like more stuff. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna do a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'm back. I, I did some of the normal and got some stuff. How now for the festival? Yes. Well then, guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. Oh yeah, because ne the next day we have to do um the next day. Uh, <laughs> we have to get the third and final one. And I'll say when you're ready. That is a huge chancy. Wait, is that a chancy or a wig? That's a wiggly tough. No, that's a joke. That's not a jiggly puff. God damn it. What is that thing? I hate that they're both like pink ish. I, I think that is a wiggly tough. There you are, right? It's because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. So, uh, I wanted to talk to you a bit. I haven't told anybody about, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, I haven't. Oh, what thing? Wow, that's funny. Better not be lying. <laughs> I'll find out you babbled. I'm going to make you swallow a coffin hole. She's, she's intense. Still have things. We still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa should. I mean, my grandpa knows a lot about the village history. We should talk. Go talk to him about what happened yesterday. Didn't you say not to tell him? Okay. You know, you know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. I show grandpa the you know thing we found. 
Mm. First, let me sell all the stuff I have from the mark. Because I have been selling, saving nuggets and stuff like that. And I want to see how much money I truly have. Oh, these are weird. So, well, I've gone up from 120 to now almost 200. Because I had a lot of pretty feathers. One. Ah, not too bad. Only if about 250,000. Nah. I'm just happy I can use Coridon for this part. And that walk everywhere like, oh. Oh, wait. I see gold. Okay. Now we made time. This is a grandpa, show grandpa the, you know, thing we found. Mm. Oh, I actually have to go talk to him. Good morning to you, Ren. Hey, Ren. Good morning. Tss, he's awake, huh? When I go see the last signboard, Kiki, go find some some place else to be. Ren's got business with me. Oh boy, seriously, he's spending all the, his time with you. That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What did you just... What did you just call me? <laughs> What's his deal? He should know better than to talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carmen. Being kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. Anyway. We got more important things to discuss, right, Rin? Come on. You, you gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. <laughs> There's so many ways that you could have took that wrong. <laughs> could this be? This, this mask belongs to the poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre army. Yesterday at the festival of the mask. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but I but it dropped the mask and yeah. Oh, I never would have thought that ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Huh? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose... It's time I told you, Carmen. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Ren. I'm not leaving. <laughs> you, you also met the poor ogre. Or... Ogrepa. Ogrepa. Oh, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story has passed down through our family for generations.
Bro, I'm right next to him. Just let me talk to him. Like, come on, man. This is gonna be a bit of a long story to tell. Is that all right? Yes. Oh, that's why. It's like, hey, you're gonna be here for a while. He sat down! This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. And from his father and his father's kid. A story of truth. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak to it, of it to the others. Okay. <sighs> a long... T oh, a long, long time ago, a man and ogre came to Kitami... I mean, Kita... Kami, from a foreign land. The people of the village fear the man and the ogre, who look so different from them. And so they refuse to let the travelers come anywhere near the, the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the, that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. As for brilliant works adorned with gems, the man brought from somewhere far away. Or where are these masks? The travelers could hide their true face and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. When the mask and the man and the ogre started joining the village festivals, mysterious pen mm. pair soon became the talk of the village because of their oh okay or because of their brilliant mask okay I'll be right back food's here okay sorry about that in fact rumors about them quickly spread far and wide even to distant lands but rumors of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of K Kitakami. Oh. These Pokemon seeked in sneak into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived. And tried to make off with their with the mask. Which is where, oh, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of, onto one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other, the other three masks. Several hours later, the ogre returned to the cave. I've switched through many different voices. It's found a beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle in a teal mask. The ogre donned the mask and went down the vi down the village, per perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen mask, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was a, ran a raging ogre. And they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the village named their them the Loyal Three. And in turn, oh, and then with, oh, okay. 
With care. Damn. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone with great sadness. Oh, alone and with great sadness. Oh, that sucks. That's terrible. My Ron didn't deserve that. And the loyal three, they're the worst. I love how it's just raining. The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. You gotta hear about it, about this. Calm yourself, Carmen. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa, villagers believe their own version of history. They revere the loyal three. So how would they react to being told that they got it all wrong? I'll probably get angry. Ryan! <laughs> Exactly. Back when they all first, when this all first occurred, the math maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But no one would take him seriously. In fact, he said it was said he was persecuted as a heretic. Oh, um, that that really gets my blood boiling. In the end. Mathmaker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't, no. I certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? Oh. He just really like seems to like the ogre. Practically obsessed. He's been trying to one up me as as if he knows more about Orgipon than I do. Well, can't say what's going on with that boy, but he's always was a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow in <laughs> insinuated uh, the truth. I promise to tell Kieran, Kyron, sorry, the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care not to breathe a word of the of the truth to anyone or to anybody. Oh, I really hurt myself. Okay, Grandpa, I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. Oh, well, the mask you showed me. I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. Might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a while, a little while? Uh huh. Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed before we give it back to Orgimon. Or Orgimon? Or 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 I'm sorry, Pokemon popped it. Orgimon. <laughs> Orgimon. Oh, God damn, that's stuck in my head. You gave the tail mask, or the teal mask, sorry, to Carmen's grandfather. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. Oh, he heard everything. Oh, he heard everything. Okay. Wanna see Orgapon? Orgapon again. But getting its mask fist will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with or a tearing before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Oh, he's just in town. Ah!
Sneak on him. Oh, uh, hi, Rin. So I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just uh, talking about? This and that, I guess. I would have told them actually the truth. Oh, ah, ah, I see. So, uh, about these signs, the last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to he head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go on ahead, I'll, I'll catch up. Why, why did you lie to me? Well, I really, literally couldn't tell you the truth, so. But anyway, on this note, I'm going to end this episode here. But like, comment, subscribe to the channel as I keep on bringing out episodes every single day unless something weird happens. I do have a Twitter that's going to be at, at um, which is funny because it's technically an X, but twitter.com slash uh, C H E E T D O R or C H E D O R. But with that and everything else, be a fan. Bye for now. Yeah.